Hi guys and welcome back to a new video. In today's video, I will be talking about patch 9.2 and more especially, I will be talking about how to prepare for this patch and how you should prepare in order to make a lot of gold during this patch. So this is not the only video I will be doing on patch 9.2. I will be doing other videos, for instance, highlighting the different items that you will be able to craft and farm during this new patch and all the different ways you will be able to make some gold during this new patch. But as the patch might be released sooner than, we, than we're expecting, I want to share all these different recommendations and tips on how to prepare now so you can really start doing all these different things and so you can be as efficient as possible when the patch will be released. So in the video, I will be talking about all these different activities I think you should really do right now. And at the end of the video, I will give my personal thoughts on how I'm going to prepare and on what I'm expecting for patch 9.2. So let's start with what I think is one of the most important things to do right now. And this is buying and investing in all the different materials. So all these different materials will be needed in order to craft all the new legendary items and all these new BOEs, but also all the new consumables, all the new drums and many different items. Right now, as there are not a lot of people playing and there are still a lot of people farming, a lot of these materials are very cheap. So what I would recommend you to do is to simply go on the Undermine Journal if you don't have TSM or on TSM, just check the average price for each of these material. And then if you find an interesting price, then just invest in these items. Again, keep in mind that at the beginning of the patch, a lot of people are going to need all these different items. So they're going to like increase. The prices are going to increase a lot, at least on Low pop and medium pop, it's sure. And I'm sure that on high pop realms as well. So even if you are not able to use all the different material you've bought right now, I'm pretty sure you will be able to resell it for a higher price later during patch 9.2. So this is for me the first step you should do. As you can see, if I go through the list of materials needed in order to craft the new crafter's mark, and the new vestige. These two items are needed in order to upgrade the ranks of the legendaries and of the blue BOEs you can craft with the different Shadowlands professions. As you can see, all the old and all the different, whether it's cloth, leather, or, or essences, all these different items are still needed. You will also be able to farm new materials such as all these materials that are probably linked to the new zone, but still you will have to use old materials. And so anyway, people will keep buying all these old material. So that's why I would recommend you to invest if you can. So after that, my second tip is to upgrade. If you haven't yet upgrade the different professions with which you will be able to craft either the blue BOEs and also the legendaries. As you know, the legendaries and the blue BOEs, and by blue BOEs, I'm talking about all these 230 and 200 uh, crafted BOEs. They sell for a lot. And with these items, you can really make a lot of gold. So right now, it's not too expensive to upgrade these different professions because the materials are very cheap. So what I would do if I were you is try to invest in one or maybe two professions if you haven't started. E ideally, I would say that the best ones are going to be maybe tailoring, jewel crafting, blacksmithing, and lever working. And with these different professions, you will then be able during patch 9.2 to craft all the, the new BOEs and maybe some new legendaries. And with that, I'm sure you will be able to make a lot of gold. When it comes to the BOEs, right now, you really just need to upgrade the profession to its maximum level. And then if you played during 
the normal uh, campaign quests and everything, you should be able normally to already have the different crafters masks. So as you can see here, for instance, I have uh, the different ones needed in order to upgrade the item eye level of these different items. But again, I think with patch 9.2, you won't really need these ones. So you will directly be able to buy the new recipes in order to craft these new marks. And they are linked to the new reputations in the new zone. So for these new BOEs, really, you just need to upgrade the professions and normally just by playing in a new zone and upgrading the different reputations, you should be able to then buy the recipes and start crafting all these different BOEs. Again, keep in mind that in order to craft the different BOEs, you need all these different materials I was talking about. So again, as I, as I was saying in the, my first point, all these different materials are very important. For the legendaries, as it's still pretty expensive to upgrade many of them at the same time, I would say that what you want to do right now is focus on the ones that sell the most. And of course, these ones are going to be, for instance, the cape that you can craft with tailoring or the different rings and the necklace that you can craft with jewel crafting. These items have a very, very good sell rate and they will always sell for a lot. Tailoring is by far the profession with the cheapest legendaries to upgrade. So you might want, for instance, to start with the cape and secure a couple of these that you will then be able to upgrade in patch 9.2. And like that, you will probably be able to make a little bit of gold. And after that, what I would always encourage you to do is to reinvest this gold in order to upgrade other legendaries. And like that, you might be able to have maybe more than 10 or like me, all of them. And then when you have all of them, it's very easy to make a lot of gold. If you want to know more about what are the best legendaries at the moment, I made a video ranking all the different legendaries, but keep in mind that it might change during patch 9.2. So it's a little bit difficult at the moment to say in which legendaries you should invest. But again, the ones that are very, very safe are the cape, the ring, the necklace, and then all the different tailoring Armor pieces are very, very easy to craft. For most of them, on most rooms, it will be less than like 300k gold, which might be a lot for some people, but again, for many people, it's not. And if you are willing to invest that, I can guarantee you that during patch 9.2, you will be able to make a lot of gold. So this is my second suggestion, really investing right now in the different professions and trying to upgrade these different professions. But again, if you don't really feel like it might be a good investment, then don't do it. It really depends on every realm, but keep in mind that it might be a very profitable activity. And again, drill crafting and tailoring might be the two very, very like best uh, professions you can upgrade, especially for tailoring the different rings, the blue BOE's rings and the cape for tailoring. All of these will sell for a lot and have a really good sell rate. So keep that in mind but really a lot of people will buy all these different blue items and all the different base set legendaries at the beginning of the patch especially so trust me you will be able to make a really good profit even after a few weeks after the beginning of the patch so the third thing i want to discuss is the eye level of your character you want to upgrade the eye level because of two things first of all there will have a new raid and in this new raid there will have new boes as you can see here the new boes are all these different items so we have two for cloth two for lever we have then two for mail and of course some for plate and they will have item eye level of 239 in ray uh, of lfr in normal mode it will be 252 in eric 265 and in mythic 278 so as the beginning of every patch, these BOEs will be one of the best thing to farm and to sell on the auction house. By far, especially the first week, all the different Eric BOEs, a lot of like guilds, especially the ones who are trained to have some good rankings, will buy these BOEs because they are the best items that you can get at the moment. And then of course, when the mythic raid will be open, a lot of people will also farm all, all these different mythic BOEs and all these items will sell for between like 100k to a million or more. So 
in order to make sure you will be able to make the different farms with the people and get some of these BOEs, you need to have a good eye level. Because again, many people will start some of these like groups in order to farm the trash, but they will most likely only invite people with a decent eye level. And by decent eye level, I mean probably at least more than 230 or even more than that, probably around 240. So that's why, in my opinion, this is something you need to do as soon as possible. What you want to do when the patch will be released is really only to go in the pre-made group and to find in custom or otherwise you can go directly in the raid shadowlands and put the new name of the raid and you will see a lot of boe trash farming but again keep in mind that for instance right now as you can see my priest has only 203 eye level so this is really bad so i'm gonna have to do that because otherwise i won't be able to farm all these different boes and also keep in mind that the different boes will drop only for the class you are playing on so for instance if you're playing on a hunter you will only be able to get one of the two male boes same if you're playing on a warrior so if you want to have a chance at getting even more boes then of course you should do that on different type of characters and try to farm this raid with different type of characters so finally my last recommendation is to complete the campaign from Cortia and also the campaign from Shadowlands in general because most likely you will need to have this campaign completed in order to start the new one and in order to then upgrade the different reputations and buy the different recipes that will allow you to craft the new legendaries, the new BOEs and all these different items that are interesting in patch 9.2. So as you can see right now, for instance, me, I unfortunately haven't really finished the campaign. So that's also something I need to do. And again, you should do that on all the different characters you have some professions upgraded on. Because even if you complete it on one character, you will still need to do it on another character as well. So really, in my opinion, trying to make this campaign right now is very very important and after that it's done and you will be able to start patch 9.2 without having to go back to Cortia or to the previous zones so that's pretty much it for uh, today's video of course there are other things you can do such as going through all the new reputations all the new things that you will be able to do and all the different things you will need to do all the new systems in order to really have a good understanding of what will be needed and what you need to focus on as soon as you start the new patch but other than that i would say that these are my best recommendations when it comes to me personally right now i'm going to focus on retry really to upgrade my eye level at least on my priest and my druid and then also finish the campaign on these two characters I already have unlocked all the different professions and all the different legendaries. So on that side, I'm all good, but I still need to buy a lot of material because unfortunately I don't have a lot. And I know that as soon as we are gonna arrive at one week before the patch, some people on my realm are gonna just buy everything of the auction house and then the prices are gonna increase and they're not gonna decrease before a couple of weeks. So if I don't want to spend too much on materials at the beginning of the patch in order to craft all these different legendaries, all these different BOEs, I will need to invest right now in all these different items. For instance, right now I've seen that I had like very cheap um, enchanted lightly silk. So this is something that you can do. You can directly go here and you can directly buy all of that. So as you can see, now I have 1,700 more enchanted lightly silk and trust me, whether it is right now or later, I will be able to make a lot of gold out of these silks. So this is really not a big investment for me. And this is again, risk-free because you will most likely be able to sell it back. Even if you don't want to craft anything with that, trust me at the beginning of the patch, these materials will sell for a lot of gold. 
So that's pretty much it guys for today's video. I will be back with more videos on patch 9.2 and also on patch 9.15 and also on other type of farms. So stay tuned for all these other videos. And of course, if you like this video and you like my other videos, don't hesitate to just subscribe and maybe put a like. It's always nice to see people liking the videos and appreciating the, the content I'm creating. But yeah, I will see you all very soon. And in the meantime, I wish you the best of luck in this preparation for patch 9.2. See you.